published 8:52 Eastern Standard Time, the 28th of December the 2017, updated 12:43 Eastern Standard Time, the 28th of December 2017. Everton will look to make headway on the proposed 25 million pounds move for Steven Zonzi over the next 48 hours. Manager Sam Allardyce and Director of Football Steve Walsh are pushing to get business done early in January with Everton's squad stretched with injury and illness. Talks are also at an advanced stage with Besiktas over the £25 million signing of striker Senk Tosin, who started for his club against Osmanli Spor on Thursday night. While Sevilla are ready to agree a similar fee for Zanzi, Everton will look to step up their pursuit of out of favour Sevilla midfielder Steven Ndonzin. Zanzi fell out with Sevilla coach Eduardo Barizzo, but even though the 48 year old has since been sacked and will be replaced by Vincenzo Montella, the damage between the player and and the club is deemed irreparable. Though he has interests from West Ham, who were rebuffed in a loan bid, the 29-year-old is keen to link up with Sam Allardyce and would provide extra bite in Everton's midfield. His arrival would likely signal a departure with question marks over Mo Bezic and Morgan Schneiderlin, a potential West Ham target, but Allardyce is keen to keep James McCarthy who continued his recovery playing in a behind-closed-doors match at Finch Farm on Wednesday. Everton, who also plan to add a left-sided defender, expect renewed interest in Umani Assi with Brighton among the club's keen. Wayne Rooney, meanwhile, is pushing to make the trip to Bournemouth after being hit by flu. Rooney had tried to play through his illness last week but only exacerbated the virus. Talks are at an advanced stage between Everton and Besiktas over the signing of Sanctos and Chelsea are hopeful of concluding talks over a new five-year contract with Thibaut Courtois. The Belgium international wanted to hold off from signing until the summer but Chelsea are keen to reach an agreement with Real Madrid looming large and ready to provide a counter-offer. Chelsea have concerns as they have identified Stoke City's Jack Butland as an alternative, plus Jan Oblak at Atletico Madrid. Courtois has family in Madrid and has spoken about how he would like to move back there. Madrid want him to compete alongside Kepa Riza Balaga who is joining from Athletic Bilbao next month. The 25-year-old Courtois' current deal, around £100,000 a week, expires in 18 months' time. Chelsea are looking to tie down goalkeeper Thibaut Courtois to a new five-year contract. Real Madrid have watched Ryan Sessegnon at Fulham this season but he is still expected to join Tottenham eventually. Manchester United are also confirmed admirers of the talented 17-year-old but it is understood his preference would be to stay in London. Madrid are looking to improve the youth players that they acquire but the prospective career path at the Bernabeu for Sessegnon would not be an easy one. Tottenham would ideally look to move in the summer but may be prompted into action next month should United at their rivals bid. While Danny Rose has stated his desire to fight for his place, the England international could still leave if Tottenham receive a substantial offer from suitors. Though a Tottenham move for Manchester United's Luke Shaw has been mooted, he will stay at Old Trafford, at least until the summer. Real Madrid have watched Ryan Sessegni on this term but he is still expected to join Tottenham Brighton a wary of West Ham entering the race for £25 million rated Celtic striker Moussa Dembele. Talks have taken place between Brighton and Celtic, as first revealed in Sports Mail, with the clubs looking to agree on a fee though no official bid has gone in. However, Brighton are concerned of being used to settle on an asking price then seeing Dembele move to a more established Premier League club. West Ham have been approached to see if they want to revive their interest from last year. Everton have also been approached about Dembele but have reservations about his fitness while they have all also offered £25 million for St. Tosin. West Ham boss David Moyes is an admirer of Dembele but his prime concern is improving his defence in midfield. Should Diafra Sarko, who has been mentioned as a possible make-weight in a deal for Swansea's Alfie Mawson and Ki Sung Yang, depart then Moyes will want a striker in. Moyes ideally wants British players of those with Premier League experience to adapt quickly to West Ham's push up the table. Meanwhile, Borussia Mönchengladbach are keen to take 19-year-old Reese Oxford on a permanent deal but have yet to make a formal offer. 
Brighton will look to fend off interest from a host of clubs for Celtic striker Moussa Dembélé. Leicester City have held discussions over a deal for Benfica fullback André Almeida. Leicester scouts have watched the Portugal international on several occasions in recent months including against Tondela and Estoril in December and are keen to conclude a deal next week. However, much will depend on Benfica's asking price with Almeida's release clause understood to stand at £25 million. Leicester expect offers from Watford and Newcastle for Islam Slimani which could offset the outlay. Meanwhile, Wolves are keen on Benfica's 20-year-old attacking midfielder Joao Carvalho with winger Ben Marshall likely to depart Molina in January. Claude Puel's Leicester are interested in signing Benfica fullback Andre Almeida Huddersfield Town have spoken to Monaco regarding Almami Torre. David Wagner is keen to strengthen in fullback areas and Torre is highly regarded as an up-and-coming talent. Tottenham watched him when he first broke into Monaco's first team though the 21-year-old has still two impress consistently, and has made 14 appearances this season. Huddersfield have also asked about his clubmate Terence Congolo on a possible loan. Huddersfield have held talks with League One outfit Monaco regarding Almami Tora Vigan Athletic are keen on Jai Kito Mo at Morton. The exciting Scotland U21 international can play on the wing or as a secondary striker. He has 18 months left on contract in League One leaders Wigan since he can bolster their promotion push and has the potential to handle championship football next season if they are successful. Crystal Palace and Swansea have monitored the 20-year-old over the past year. League One leaders Wigan Athletic are eyeing a move for Morton's Dyke Eating O Liverpool winger Ben Woodburn has interest from Preston North End who are keen to take him on loan after missing out on St Mirren winger Lewis Morgan who is bound for Celtic. Leeds United, Sunderland and Norwich City have also asked about 18-year-old Woodburn but Liverpool will want him to have guaranteed playing time. Preston North End have shown interest in Liverpool youngster Ben Woodburn Cardiff City have pulled out of a £1 million deal for Celtic forward Johnny Hayes after the Republic of Ireland international broke his leg against Dundee. The 30-year-old Republic of Ireland international only joined in the summer from Aberdeen but had been used sparingly by Brendan Rodgers and Neil Warnock was keen to take him to the championship. Warnock wants experienced strikers to help guide Cardiff out of the championship and has discussed Cameron Jerome of Norwich City and Diafra Seco at West Ham as possible alternatives. Cardiff have pulled out of a £1 million deal for Johnny Hayes after he broke his leg versus Dundee.